All right, hello. So I've been making login info cards for each student that has one reading website and one math website that they can practice on. Um, so I'm just gonna go through and make videos explaining how to use each website. So today I'm gonna focus on using the math website, um, which should be the same for each student. It's called happynumbers.com. Um, so first up, I'm gonna go to number one, happynumbers.com. I'm just gonna go to this link. Still look at this. All right, first thing I do is I go to the link happynumbers.com. Okay, I'm gonna go to I am a student. Okay, I'm gonna step number two, which is put in your class number, which is 353301. It might be, that class number might be different for your student, but for this example, that is the number. Should go. So I'm gonna pick my name. For this example, I'm practice. My password is on my card right here. It shows my password is 55. All right, so that is how I get to happy numbers. So this is what it looks like. It's a little dragon dinosaur guy, kind of fun. Just take you through. All right. So the first thing it's gonna want you to do the first time you get on is take a little practice test. Most students, for some students, it won't have you take a practice test, depending on the level I set them at. Um, but for this one, I'm gonna take a practice test. I think it's 20 questions. I'm just gonna do this part super fast so you guys can see. Which one belongs in this group? Drag the picture. Okay, so it will read all the questions. If it doesn't, click on this. Drag link. the picture. You need to hear it again. Which one belongs in this group? Oh, uh, that's one of the reasons I chose this math program. I really like to let it read out loud to the students. Which one comes next? So it's gonna take this little test. How many stars? If you get it wrong, it's not gonna tell you on this because it's just a practice. The it's black car is first. Which one is third? Finish the pattern. Drag the picture. Which one has more than six balls? Which one has a number of pants equal to the number of shirts? All right, guys, I'm gonna pause this and finish this part and then resume in a second when I'm done with this task, because I don't want to make you guys watch this whole thing. All right, so now I'm on the last question. All right, I finished, and now it's gonna take me, it's gonna set me up for where, how I did on the test. Okay, push this arrow. It's gonna have me pick a planet. Okay, so this is how it works. You have to start here, and it'll take you all the way through to the star. Um, and it's pretty self-explanatory after that. It's just gonna take you on each task. How many pairs? And if it didn't read it again, and I needed to hear this, I'd click on this blue little audio icon. How many pairs? Okay, so five. Five pairs. Five pairs and one more is six pairs. Six pairs. I really like this math program because it'll take it, you through it slowly. Um, if you miss a problem on this one, six, it will give you the right answer right away. So it doesn't have them just guessing over and over. Um, I will show you that really fast. How many cubes? Uh, so, for example, if I said that was one cube, 
Tap to count. It's gonna take me through prompting to get it, so. One cube. Tap to count. Two cubes. So we'll help them find the answer. Three cubes. Four cubes. Five cubes. How many cubes? Five cubes. But it, it won't let me pass this level until I can do it independently. All right. So that is happynumbers.com. Let's know if you have cubes. any questions. And one more is six cubes. Oh, I'm going to keep going.